I'm Chris Gaskell, um, I'm Principal of the Royal Agricultural College, but today my guise is as Chairman of DEFRA Science Advisory Council. Science Advisory Council has been in existence, well, formally for about six years now, and was set up by Howard Dalton, the then CSA of DEFRA, who wanted to have a group of experts, and we are a committee of experts rather than an expert committee, a group of people who could help advise him and challenge him across the whole panoply of science and broader evidence base that DEFRA needs to inform its policy. So we meet, there are 16 of us, and we meet four times a year. The meeting we're having today here at the London Zoo is the open meeting, where we invite members of the general public to come and watch us at work and then take part in question and answer sessions. Today we're covering a whole range of, of issues, uh, which Bob will talk to you about in a moment, but he in particular is talking to us about the evidence investment strategy, talking about his responsibilities as the owner of departmental objectives. And we're also touching on issues of the moment, such as food security, bovine tuberculosis, and climate change. Yes, Bob Watson, Chief Scientific Advisor at DEFRA. This morning I've get, been talking about some of the major international issues. Uh, a report that I recently helped to co-chair on the relationship between climate change and biodiversity. Did that report for the Convention on Biological Diversity. Talked about how we're trying to, at the international level, get a new platform to bring together the science policy interface on biodiversity. And I gave an explanation this morning about the National Ecosystem Assessment, how we're going to look at both marine and terrestrial systems, and look at biome by biome across the United Kingdom and effectively all the functions that are so essential for human well-being. 